Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good weekend. And in today's video, what I'm gonna do is react to Slovenia's entry for this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Now, as a musician, I'm going to be giving this song a score out of 10 and my just general analysis of the music and the artists. So a little bit of context about Slovenia. Last year, they sent Anna Soklic with Amen, a decent singer with a very powerful voice, but of quite an underwhelming song, to be honest. And I hope that they improve from that because I know that this country is quite capable of sending really experimental and interesting pieces of music like they did in 2019 with Zala and Jasper. So I think in this case, I am quite rooting for them to have sent something good. So in this case, EMA happened and they picked LPS with Disco. So let's have a look at this. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I make lots of videos to do with Eurovision and music. And stay tuned to the end of the video where I will be giving this song a score out of 10. So let's get straight into this. Okay. Mmm. Yeah, definitely a disco vibe here. Mm. So far, I'm actually really vibing with this. I like it for the following reasons. Because of the live instrumentation, if you've seen my videos before, I absolutely love watching musicians play their instruments but also the range of instruments we've got here. So we have horns, violins. It's very, very much in the realm of disco from the 70s, like chic, that kind of vibe. And I really like this. They're definitely staying true to the roots of the genre. I like how it's in the native language as well. The guy has got a really, really sweet voice. And I like the runs that he's adding in there, the vocal runs, really smooth, sophisticated. It's going well so far. There's a nice range of chords. It's exploratory as well, which ticks boxes for me, as you'll know. And I like how they all look really young as well. They seem like they're fresh out of school, to be honest. They have very, very young faces. So yeah, so far I'm really feeling positive about this entry. Let's keep going. It's got a good bass line. Mm. Mm. Ooh, those chords! Those chords gave me life. They were just, there were so many extended chords in there. It just went in all different directions. I was like, just making my mind go in all these places. It just really, really like gets me going when I hear chords like that. It's very Jacob Collier. We had a similar thing with Latvia's song as well, where you can tell who's written this song. They know about musical harmony. They know about negative harmony. They know about all of that stuff. So it's really nice to hear this. They definitely masters in the disco and jazz chords genre that sort of thing very impressive <laughs> it's good it's good <laughs> Mm. Oh, nice. Mm. I love how it slowed down. Ooh. Lovely. 
dobre zmene s drugim stran odhajaš oče ne a ti drugemu srce odajaš bliže ma ampak to je u mojih sanjah ne ne bote ne bote već nazaj mmm It's catchy. Mm, wow, that was excellent. I, gen I, I, I seriously, I don't tend to make comments like that, but that was genuinely excellent. I'm really impressed with that entry. Wow, gosh, I'm actually super excited about that because I wasn't expecting after last year for an entry from Slovenia to be so different, but also just a major step up. To me, that's one of the best entries this year so far, just purely in musical terms. There's a couple of things I would improve on, obviously, because I think the lead singer needs more stage presence. He seemed a bit camera shy. And I think in terms of getting to May in the real final or the semi-final, he can definitely improve in his engaging with the audience and the camera. But the setup, the silhouette of the band is brilliant. The way that the instruments blended into each other, the use of things like horns, saxophones and violins, it really sounds good. They all clearly know exactly how to play their instruments. They know where to go. They know where to explore harmonies. It's, this is really impressive. And for instance, the melody of the chorus was really catchy as well. So they definitely explored things and went further than a lot of other artists have done in terms of the music in places, but they also kind of reined it in a little bit with the chorus so that there's at least a bit of catchy element that a normal lay person can listen to and be like, okay, I get this and I'm enjoying this. So it's very cleverly done. I'm going to give that an eight out of 10 so far. And I think that score could definitely go up in, in the future if they improve their stage presence a little bit and maybe make it pop more on stage. That's the only criticism I have. The actual music and the melody and the way it sounds in general is really, really good. Honestly, that's made me so excited. Well done, Slovenia. I think this is fantastic. Well done. So let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about this entry and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. And I hope you have a good weekend. Bye.